So guys, uh, we're back, and today we're going to discuss um, whether or not um, you're looking for an entry-level video card. You know, what what should you choose? Should you choose a video card with like two gigabytes of DDR3, um, or a video card with uh, one gigabyte of DDR5? Um, we'll make this real simple. DDR5 is what you should choose. Um, DDR5 comes in, um, it has a, a faster memory bandwidth, which equals more frames per second in games. I'll include a video uh, under the description um, so you guys can take a look at. It's not my video, um, but uh, this is something I found so you guys can actually see um, the difference. And, and, and what you'll see is, I think it's going to be a, an HD 7730, um, and you'll see um, that DDR5, even though it's, it's the exact same card with different memory on it, it'll be faster. But um, there's a few things you guys need to remember, and I just want to make sure I cover when you're, you know, since your gamer's on a budget. And like me, most of you probably don't know. Um, some of these things so I'm gonna help you out um, I know a lot of you guys are probably still using uh, MSAA Annie Aliasing Annie Aliasing is um, the low-end the low-end graphics cards weren't meant they're not able to handle Annie Aliasing and um, there's, a, there's a few benefits you get um, if you don't use Annie Aliasing in your games you get faster frames per second um, it uh, um, seeing as how you're not using any aliasing to blur your image, you get a more crystal crisp, clear image. Um, the jaggies are there, but if you're if you're gaming at 1920 by 1080 p, um, you'll get a a better image. So your gameplay will be be better overall. Um, and also too. It will enable you to um, go into your graphics, uh, your video card manufacturer, whether it be NVIDIA or um, AMD, their control panel, and let you put your te your textures on max. And then you can turn around and go into your video games when you're playing them in the in in the you know the games option graphics or the video options, and t put full textures on your games. And every single game that you play, guys. Even on the entry level video cards, you can max those textures out and you can start running full 16 by anisotropic filtering, which you should be doing in every single game anyway. Um, you can force that in, your, in, in the control panel also in whatever your video card vendor is. Um, so you guys should be doing that. Um, Fun facts: um, <laughs> Most games were, were uh, will run on, on max textures at 1080p if you turn those anti uh you know, off at about 30 frames per second or better. Um, and this is because the majority of the games that you guys are going to be playing on a PC were made for the consoles in the first place. You know, guys. You know that the consoles aren't strong as what you can do on your computer, um, so computers are, are normally faster. So you can always get normally you can get faster frames per second. So though you know consoles can do 30 frames per second, your computer can do 60. That just all depends on the game and how you know the, the processor, the graphics card, you know how much you know how how strong those are. So you can get you know. You know, 30, you know, 30 plus frames per second in games, um, and also too, there's a sweet spot around about $200, um, you know, um, where the the performance or FPS you get in games, um, it's not worth the price premium you have to pay. Because after about that point, in the video cards in their tiers, because they go in tiers, after about 200 bucks, 
you're just paying for um, the card to have more shaders, uh, you know, more um, more horsepower, so that it can, so that you can use anti-aliasing, which is a <laughs> it's a frames per second killer. So you can you can uh, fix that by just not using anti-aliasing. And also too, if you're not using anti-aliasing, you don't need as much video RAM, or you know on you know RAM on the card to run your textures um, another misconception is one that I had for a long time until I tested it out for myself um, is that you know if you spend the money on these you know these four four hundred dollar plus cards like the 290 to 290X or the 780 or the 780 Ti uh, it'll make your games look better and that just simply isn't true um, I learned this for for a fact, um, especially here recently. I, I was really, you know, since I've started this channel, I've been taking a taking a really good hard look and, and doing a lot of testing on the low end um, uh, hardware, especially the, the, these video cards. And the I had I bought a, an XFX uh, 7750, and if you guys go back in some of my videos, you'll see that I was using that. And uh, you know some gameplay in there, and the games that I was playing looked way way better. Just just they they looked way better than um, like um, my seven nine seventy or my seven nine fifty um, that I got from MSI um, or my six nine seven. Uh, 70 that I currently have in my machine now. I mean, I, I just could not believe how the the amazing texture and the clarity and just how much good you know how how good the picture looked. I just couldn't believe it. So don't believe the hype, guys. Just because you spend 400 bucks plus, you know, 400 bucks or more, doesn't mean you're going to get a, a, a better image quality, you know, more image quality out of these video cards because you just simply won't. It, it just all depends on how you set it up and you in whatever your manufacturer's control panel is. Um, and then how you set it up in games. If you don't use any aliasing, your, your textures are going to look crisp at 1080p anyway, so um, you'll be able to deal with the jaggies over time. I know, I know it took me a while to, to, to get used to it, but after I stop using it, I, I'll never go back. Um, and also too, I'll give you some cards to you know that that um, I've actually used, and I'll that um, I know that costs around anywhere between eighty-five dollars up to about a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty. Um, that's the six six seventy, HD six six seventy, HD seven seven fifty, the HD seven seven seventy, the HD seven seven ninety. Um, and then the, on the NVIDIA side, the GTX 650 Ti Boost. Um, those, any of those cards will run any game at 1080p at about, on average, about 30 frames per second or more. Um, so there you go. So for my next video, um, I'll be uh, talking about uh, PCI Express 2.0 versus PCI Express uh, 3.0. There seems to be a lot of confusion about that from a lot of threads, from a lot of people who just really don't understand um, uh, the, the memory, you know, the, the throughput, the bandwidth that the PCI Express bus um, utilizes. So I'll be talking about that in my next video. But thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You guys have a good day.